Uh, my name is Alberto Comazzi. I'm the PI of the uh, NASA Astrophysics Data System. And uh, over the past year, we've worked on ORCID integration. I hope to be able to show you exactly what, OK, here we go, what that means. And I would like to acknowledge support from the American Astronomical Society in this effort. It was thanks to some of uh, their prodding that we got started um, a year ago. And they provided some material support to actually uh, start the first implementation of this. Um, so uh, the, uh, the things I'll talk about are basically what uh, explain what ORCID is and how the integration happens with our new interface, which is what you see on the left side of the screen here. Can I have a quick show of hands to see how many of you have used this new interface so far? Okay. All right. So homework for those of you who haven't, please go home, try its code name ADS Bumblebee. You can find it in Google if you type that in, or just off of our top level page, you can go to it. Um, everything we're developing is done on the using the new interface, so you should use it. Um, so I'll briefly talk about how you can use this interface to claim papers, what we're doing to index these ORCIDs that you um, either have claimed or that come from the publishers. How do you search using an ORCID? And, um, and then where we're going with user profiles. So many of you will know about ORCIDs, hopefully, because you've been asked about it or been told you should get one. Um, just real, really briefly, ORCID stands for Open Researcher and Contributor ID. It's uh, an identification system designed especially for the scholarly community. Um, that's where they put the focus on. But it's, as, as a, an ID system, it's really agnostic. Um, it's, it's an open uh, and nonprofit effort, um, which was sponsored originally by Crossref and other uh, people in the publishing industry. And the important thing uh, that you need to know is that it, it basically provides two different things uh, to you as a user and to us as information providers. First of all, it, it provides a, a registry of uh, user um, user profiles, user IDs, essentially. So you, you will get a number when you go to register with ORCID. And it provides a, a layers of interoperability, a, application programming interfaces that system like us and the publishers can use to um, verify identity and tag things with your identity. So to use ORCID, it's rather simple. You go to the websi uh, website, orchid.org, and you can register. Here's um, the screen that you need to fill out. Um, really, you need just very basic information to get started. Your name, your email address. One important thing that, that I always like to stress is at the bottom you see there's uh, default privacy settings for the things that you do in ORCID. Uh, ORCID gives you full control of your privacy, which means you decide what kind of things you make public uh, as far as your profile is concerned. I always advocate to keep the most lenient settings. So. Uh, leave your privacy settings set to public because um, I think the goal for us as scholars is to be found and for our papers to be read. So you actually want other people to see where you work and what you've published. Um, then you can manage your profile by basically following, uh, filling out a form. You can specify where you're working at. Um, uh, so there's an, uh, a field about your affiliation. And then below here is an, uh, a whole section for your bibliography. Um, so that, that uh, will uh, let people know what things you've published. And that's the part that uh, ADS can fill out for you or with your support. The public view of, that, um, of the bibliography is what I'm showing you here. So these are 40 of my works i.e. my papers that I have um, imported into the system. As you can see, for each one of them, the source is NASA ADS. There are other information providers that can do this for you, such as Scopus or Crossref. Um, and so it will tell you where it came from. And uh, there's a system for managing multiple imports. So the same record could come from two different providers, and ORCID allows you to kind of select one or the other. Um, now, this is interesting, but honestly, nobody is, we think, is going to ORCID to find someone's paper. So the, the integration into ADS goes beyond just ADS helping you fill out this bibliography. It, it, and it, it, uh, it also allows you to um, kind of make those claims available through our system. And I'll show you exactly what that means. So the first part of it is that, as I mentioned, 
uh, we allow you to claim your papers and send these records to ORCID. Um, and the second step is that we also index those claims as well as we index information that comes straight from the publisher. If you've pro provided your ORCID when you, were when you submitted an APSHE article, ADS will know about it and it's indexed in our system. And finally, we allow people to search those ORCIDs so that if you knew someone's ORCID, you could search the ADS uh, using it and eventually you uh, will have a better interface that allows people to um, type somebody's name, find their ORCID, and therefore find their publications in our system. So the first part about the claiming, uh, if you go to our new interface, you'll find that there's a menu option uh, on the top right, uh, which is ORCID, and that allows you to uh, sign into ORCID straight from our interface. Uh, what that means really is that we have to redirect you to the ORCID website where you authenticate yourself, and then you come back to ADS with the correct credentials, so we'll know who you are according to the ORCID registry. So I go over to ORCID, I type in my email and uh, password. ADS acknowledges that you've, you're signed in, we know who you are, and we ask you to fill out a, a one, one uh, screen uh, form um, to help us make the ORCID claiming better. Essentially what we'd like you to tell us is your current affiliation, and this will be used by other people who have to disambiguate a person, so they look at the affiliation, and any names that you've used um, in your um, professional life, in your publication. So if you've changed your last name or if you have double last names, there's different spellings, you can specify them there. This will help us in finding the list of papers that are potentially yours and, uh, and that you can claim. Once you've done that, you can view the existing claims. Um, I had already imported some information in my system, so ADS will know about your current uh, public claims. And then, sorry, and then uh, we have this button that says to add to this, to this list, click here. So basically what that does is it creates an ADS query looking for all papers published by Accomazico Alberto and it gives me a list such as this one. So in this list, some records are already in ORCID and they're clearly marked as such, but others are not, and that's why you have the option that says claim in ORCID. So if I click on the top button that says claim in ORCID, um, that information is sent to the ORCID website using their API, and the acknowledgement that it's now inserted in ORCID um, gives you this new visual cue. So, You've just claimed a paper, it's entered in the ORCID archive, and it's in a queue that allows it to be indexed in the ADS system. Um, if you want, you can go back uh, using the ORCID menu, you can go back to your ORCID profile, and I'm sorry again, this is another blurry image. The ORCID profile will reflect that a new paper has been added to it, trust me. It, it works except when it fails. Um, <coughs> so, just a couple more words about um, how th what this means for researchers using the ADS. As I mentioned, we index um, ORCID data that comes to us from the publishers, so the um, AAS journals through IOP have some ORCIDs in them. Not every author is an ORCID, but those specified will be um, tagged, properly tagged in the metadata, and so it becomes indexed in our system. Um, as an example, I just picked someone at the CFA I know, Raffaele da Brusco, and uh, so I knew his ORCID, I went in, I typed it in, and I found four papers from the APJ and AJ that um, have his ORCID in. So if you know someone's ORCID, you, even without them doing anything, you may already find some content indexed in our system. Um, we also would like to augment that information with uh, other ORCIDs that come from some of our collaborators. For instance, Archive has a page with author profiles. So these are the papers that I uploaded into Archive. If I enter my ORCID, then I have an immediate association between my ORCID and these preprints. So um, we plan to ingest this information so that we cover the, the preprint literature as well using ORCIDs um, when that um, when that happens. We hope somewhere, sometime in 2016. And finally, the, the claims that I just showed you, if you make a claim as a user and if, if you've registered as an ADS user, we will index it 
um, so long as we can find your name in the author list of the paper that you've claimed. So it's important that you create this profile and specify your names, and these claims will be found by anyone searching the ADS. So th here I'm searching ADS for my ORCID itself, m my own ORCID, and I'm finding uh, the 41 papers that I've claimed. So um, just to kind of wrap things up, um, what we're trying to accomplish here is make it easier to find people and find the papers that they've published. Today, if you have to do this, basically it can be a painful process depending on how um, ambiguous that person's name is. Uh, you would search for all the uh, known variations of that person's name. You try to somehow disambiguate um, the, the list of papers based on the affiliation specified or the topic um, of the paper. And then you come to a list that may or may not be complete and may or may not be precise. So it's not, not a pretty effort. You can ask any librarian and, and they'll tell you how painful this can be. With ORCID, uh, we removed the ambiguity problem, um, which is great. However, it assumes that you know someone's ID and therefore are able to search for that ID when you locate your papers. Um, and it assumes that that person has claimed his or her papers using this ID, which is obviously work in progress. So we'd like this to be the end game, but we're not there yet. So what, what the ADS integration is, um, has done basically is we enable this claiming using a tool that you uh, trust and use on a daily basis, the ADS. Um, you at the same time create an ADS profile which will allow us to notify when new papers come in that might be published by you and so you can keep up this bibliography and then other people will be able to search um, the system using uh, some functionality that takes your name helps them identify your ORCID and then shows them your papers so work in progress and please stay tuned and here's the reference information for you to go and check this out so thank you sorry for taking all of my time.